Uh, fourth pillar is performance. What is that performance pillar do here? Let's see. The performance efficiency pillar focuses on the structured and streamlined allocation of IT and computing services. Key topics including selecting resource types and sizing optimized for workload re requirements, monitoring performance and maintaining efficiency as business needs evolve. That's a main focus here is selecting the appropriate workload. So if you select the uh, non-proper workload uh, things, right? So you, you require something like five terabyte of storage, but you say you selected only four terabytes, then there might be a capacity is not up to the mark. Then you might have the um, performance issues right so let's see what is its major uh, components of the performance pillar here the key components what the performance focused on so first one is the compute compute resources for performance including selecting appropriate instance types implementing auto scaling and optimizing application performance so selecting the appropriate instances the fit good fit for the good performance then your compute is running fine so that way you get a good performance the next one is storage storage resources for performance including selecting the appropriate storage times so which workload needs which type of storage so if you are selecting the uh, database as a workload but you are selecting the storage is s3 that is a bad idea right it's not a optimized solution at all so it's a bad selection but if you select an ebs for the database to write the io so that is a good selection so that's how you do the appropriate storage type selection optimizing data retrieval and implementing a caching mechanism so wherever you want to deliver the data faster so some services required caching to deliver it's faster next one is database database performance um, including selecting appropriate database types implementing appropriate indexing and optimizing query performance that's the major part of the database so whenever you are querying the database it should be performed well so whenever you write select star from so and so table it should return fast so that's why it should be optimized for the performance networking so networking is the main key part of any data delivery right so including the selecting the appropriate network architecture minimizing the latency optimizing the data transfer so if you say 1 gb data you wanted to copy it you initiate the data copy then it takes hours then nobody look at that right so if you want to copy a one terabyte of storage to another location it should be something like one hour uh, two hours it should complete so that's the network performance um, most of the customers look for right so that's way optimizing the network for the transfer and minimizing the latency is the key area of focus on the performance so and another one is the monitoring like uh, uh, collecting the metrics and logs and detect and respond to the performance issues quickly and continuously analyze the data identify areas for the improvement so example if a network is having some latency how we can identify so you should have some monitoring is in place so that you can able to see hey this device is not performing well or this port is having some issues or this policy is not uh, allowing some ports it should be allowed something like that right if you have the monitoring in place you can able to do that so what is the real-time example for this performance uh, here so if you take a media streaming company so example say if you take any of the news channels which is a media streaming company right to ensure performance of its streaming service by optimizing the computer is like um, optimizing the compute resources for performance selecting appropriate storage types and implementing caching mechanisms optimizing the database performance and implementing the effective monitoring mechanisms the company can ensure that its streaming service 
um, delivers a high quality video and audio content with a minimal buffering so example say that if you are uh, streaming some cricket match right then suddenly that it's rolling and rolling and rolling buffering on the video then you lost the interest so to see that right so that should not happen so that's where you get a good performance by optimizing its backend resources like database optimization network optimization and the caching services so you put some caching over there so that the video quality and audio quality would be delivered fast so that's why it's focused on media streaming is a real-time example for the performance pillar. Yes.